fix this. Turn this around. What the hell is that? All right. Let's see if I can clean this. I'm doing Facebook and YouTube real quick. <sighs> Listen, y'all. Let me share this with y'all, man. I'm on Facebook and YouTube Live, y'all. Um, I literally have a migraine headache dealing with our people. I really have a migraine playing with our people. I'm sitting here. I just started this thing called Patreon, right? And I'm working on Patreon. I'm really, really working on it. Shout out to Jasmine. I'm really working on this Patreon like a mother freaking yo. What I'm going to be doing, because I don't want to put out negative energy. I don't want to put out the negative. But I can tell with our people how the mentality of our people is insane, yo. I, I sat on here with my sister Jasmine. About the Patreon. We're trying to get the numbers up on Patreon. So if y'all not familiar with Patreon, I posted this in the it's in the um section, people. Let me show my people that on here too. Hold up. Let me do this real quick. That hold up. Turn that back around. The Patreon is right there, right? I'm gonna be doing some exclusive stuff on Patreon. But the Cash App is there, the Patreon is there, everything is there, right? My sister Jasmine said, don't worry, it's going to be coming. It's coming. We got 62 people, I believe, on my Patreon. But we want to try to make it 1,000 to 2,000. So I'm not going to be doing much, much on YouTube Live. So in Philadelphia, when I get to Philly, I'm going to be doing a Patreon Live. Everything that I'm going to be doing in Philadelphia is going to be on Patreon Live. Here it is. See, people, I know people don't even know what Patreon is. Please look it up. But if you want to, you can go to Cash App here or PayPal there. That's what my sister Jasmine says. She said a lot of people don't know what Patreon is just yet. So those, there's the two spots you can go to. Pick up your calendar, too. This is the calendar. This is my calendar that I'm bringing to Wilmington, Delaware on January the 13th. January the 13th, Wilmington, Delaware, 3 p.m., at the House of Reawakening Minds. The House of Reawakening Minds is going to be epic. 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 Okay? Let's see, we're working on this Patreon, but the Cash App is there. Reason why, because it's like you go back and forth with people. You go, yeah, I wish the people would feed over here. Hit that Cash App up or PayPal. So, I do these videos constantly and people always send me information and say, Sabir, what's your thoughts on this? What's your thoughts on that? What's your thoughts on this? And I'm like, well, if you want my thoughts on something, help out. Help out. It is that simple. I gave you three ways, right? Three ways. Cash app, PayPal, become a member on Patreon. Patreon people... Is something that's new that I'm, I'm working on. I've only been on it for two months. Patreon. Two months. I'm going to be showing exclusive things on Patreon. But the lecture in Wilmington, Delaware at the House of Reawakening Minds on January the 13th. January 13th, 3 p.m. The House of Reawakening Minds. We're only going to do Patreon Live. That's it. Patreon Live. When I get to Philadelphia, I'm going to take people on the journey to Philadelphia about where our nationality was taken at. I'm going to walk y'all right through City Hall. Everybody's money getting short. Here's what it is, man. It happens. I ain't stopping. So you shouldn't stop. Nobody should stop. So I'm going to walk y'all through City Hall, Philadelphia, different stuff like that on the Patreon. Okay? That's what's going to happen. The reason why I'm saying this, y'all, because I'm getting masses of people just today. And I know my people's watching this. My brother Manuel Glenn asked a question. 
He asked the question. I don't know how many times I went over this subject over and over and over and over and proved to y'all from Facebook to YouTube. Let me show you something. I'm on YouTube also. Facebook and YouTube. We on both. I broke down the Constitution. I broke down the president's job. What is it and why is it so hard for our people to comprehend something that is so simple? Somebody in some position don't want y'all to know this. Somebody don't want y'all to know this. Are you following me? Man, research costs like a mother freaking dude. I'm mad at you. How are you? How can you say it's the parents' fault? I'm not even talking. That's irrelevant. We're not talking about that. Stay focused. Everything is the parents' fault, first and foremost. We're not talking about R. Kelly. That's irrelevant to me. Okay? Let's talk about the educational neglect. I'm not even, I'm past that R. Kelly stuff. I'm not even talking about that. Somebody always got to bring up, see, we bring up stuff that we know we can't do anything about. But hold up. Let me, let's talk about this for a minute. Let's talk about the political education neglected. Let's talk about that one for a minute. That I wasn't just talking about R. Kelly. You didn't hear R. Kelly come out my mouth. That was early today. It's past tense. You know what past tense is? Past tense. Past tense. So, let's talk about the political education neglected. Peace, peace. We out for lunch and dinner. So, you see that? Let's stay on topic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. People get distracted. Next week is going to be something totally different. But, but they're not talking about the government shutdown, are y'all? Nobody's talking about the government shutdown. But you want to talk about this. But let me show y'all something over here, too. You see that? You see that? Political education neglected. So we talk about the Constitution. So I'm going to show y'all something. So bear with me. No, they worrying about their taxes. Hold up. I want y'all to see this because something came on my feed early today about the president. But I want y'all to read that where it states. Hold up. Let me let me try to get this real good for y'all. I don't want y'all to miss anything. Yeah, you got a feeling somebody about to embarrass themselves. They are. So look, not long ago. This is from the miseducation of the Negro. And you can tell we miseducated. So somebody asked me, do I know the Constitution? Hell to the yes. I know the Constitution. No doubt. And you won't hear none of your politicians talk about the Constitution. If they did, they would break it down. So let's go here. Not long ago, it was a measure that was introduced in a certain state legislator to have the Constitution. Right? Thou was printed in school histories, but when the bill was about to pass, it was killed by someone, someone who made it the point that it would never do to have a nig have Negroes study the Constitution of the United States. Talk to me for a minute. Talk to me for a minute. I'm going to show you all on YouTube, too. I'm going to show you all on YouTube. This is why this stuff is vital is important. So. Sorry, y'all. I'm going to sit you down for a minute so my people over here can see this. This is in the miseducation of the Negro. This is why Patreon is set up, y'all, because people like that that get on these threads and talk nonsense. That's why Patreon is set up. There you go, right there. But you're going to hurt yourself. So here you go, right here. This is a neglect. This said the Constitution. So let me show you the Constitution real quick. Give me one second. This is called the Constitution. There's one right here. This is the Constitution. This is the Constitution. This is the Declaration of Independence. This is the Declaration of Independence and none of these Negroes are independent. They are dependent, not independent. Let me say this one more time. 
They are dependent, not independent. Okay? Hold up. We're not done yet. Okay? How many times do I have to do a video like this? How many times do I have to quote the Declaration of Independence, this book right here? How many times do I have to quote it? So, this Declaration of Independence says, let me quote this for y'all verbatim. Let me turn this around. The Declaration of Independence says, government was instituted amongst men, deriving their just power from the consent. Let me go back, rewind. Government was instituted amongst men, deriving their just power from the consent, the consent, the consent. Okay? Government was instituted amongst men. Right? Get the just power from the consent of the people. It's coming from the people. That any form of government, any form of government, any federal, state, local, federal, state, local, federal, state, local. Any government become destructive to its ends. To its ends. It is the right. It is the right of the people. The people. To alter it. Abolish it. And institute a new one. Is that complicated people? Is that complicated what I just said? The government was instituted amongst men. Deriving their just power. From the consent of the governed. That when any form of government become destructive to its ends, it is the right of the people to alter it, abolish it, institute a new one. Why the hell are we running around here talking crazy? What the hell is wrong with black people? What is wrong with us? Then they want to argue with you. So somebody asked me, oh, so you know the Constitution? Y'all can go in the Constitution. Give me one second. Let's go here for a minute. Because I have many different ones. Which one? Which one we want to talk about? It's not difficult, right? So which one you want to build on? So we gonna go. Hold up. Let me just show y'all something to show you how swell I know this. Yeah, yeah. John said it's too much football. Hold up. Let me see you. Let me show you what John said. My man John said too much football. Too much football. Yeah, we are afraid of the truth. But wait a minute. I'm gonna show y'all something. Bear with me. This is the Constitution. Basic fundamentals. So let's go in here for a minute. Even in this book, it talks about the story of George Washington chopping down a cherry tree as a, as a lie. But wait a minute. How many people ever read the Federalist Papers? How many people read that this is in the Constitution? How many of your attorneys talk about this? Yeah, and too much R. Kelly. You ain't lying about that. But it says facts, not opinion. The U.S. Constitution and fascinating facts about it. Not opinion. Facts. Hold up. How many people, and I know these people are on here, and I'm, I'm going to share this to my brother Manuel Glenn. And he loved to talk about Michael Cord, that attorney. So here you go, right here. The Federalist Papers. Support the new Constitution. Hold up. Hmm. Let me let y'all see this on Facebook. You see what it says with a highlight that? Federalist Papers, right? Let me show you how you research things. This is why I don't get caught up in the drama. Okay? I don't get caught up in drama. Now, that right there will lead you to this right here. That's what you do. You see that? Anti-Federalist papers. Do y'all see that? Mm. Here it is right there. So do I know the Constitution? If we knew the Constitution, why would we let people's property get taken without due process? I'm going to talk to you all one more time. Why do these black leaders... Why, I'm talking to you black people. You black educated Negroes. And I said Negro. Yes, I did. So, if that be the case... Why is it that they let people's property get taken without due process? Do you know that's the law of the land? Do you know? Did any attorney ever tell you that the due process is the law of the land? Hmm. Did anybody tell y'all that? That is the law of the land. 
Have they told y'all that? Sabir, we're waiting on a leader. I'm not a leader, baby. <laughs> I am not that. Hold up. That is not who I am. I don't want it. I passed the plate. You say Sabir is a damn library. So listen. <laughs> listen. I don't want to be a leader. I don't want to be your scholar. I don't want to be none of that. I just want you to think for yourself. Think and free yourself. Let me say this one more time. I don't want to be a leader. I don't want to be none of this. I just want you to think. Think. Need a leader. I just need a book. You need the book. So I'm going to show you something else. Is this, is this making sense, y'all? I didn't go to Ivy League schools or colleges or universities. No, I was just invited to go to a university coming up. So let's go a little bit. We're talking about Constitution, right? We hooping and hollering and talk about all this stuff about the Constitution. Hold up. Let me show you something else. Give me one minute. I'm going to double up on you. I'm going to double up. I got two of them. I want you to see that one. I'm going to double up on you. You say double it up. Double up. If I didn't like my people or love my people, why would I show you any of this information? Give me one second. Check it out. In this, in this book called 101 Things Learned in Law School. Now I'm going to show you all something. We're going right back to the Constitution again. Look at that fine woman, Michelle Obama. She is so fine. Ain't she fine? The state deliberately passes unconstitutional laws. Do you see that? He said 100%. The, the HBCUs are not. Somebody said the HBCUs are not speaking the truth. No, they are not. So you see that right there, right? States deliberately pass unconstitutional laws. What black leader told y'all that? Hold on, let me show y'all this. What black leader told y'all that right there? But y'all pay these people all thousands of dollars. I didn't make that up. So, is if they deliberately pass unconstitutional laws, really? Oh, it's going down on January 13th, y'all. January the 13th at the House of Reawakening Minds is going to be not just my, my Spain lecture tour. It's going to be dope, crazy. I hope some attorneys come out. They never come out. Oh, they never come out. No preacher ever schooled me on that either. Oh, no preacher neither, right? I know they watching. Share this to my brother. I need all of y'all on here right now to share this to my brother, Manuel Glenn. Manuel Glenn. He's on my Facebook friend. Brother, you got me on something my family and friends hate to see me coming. Oh, they're going to hate you. The devil always hate when you come. When you come, do you ever notice when you walk into a room and walk outside and you got that bright light, you be like this? When you walk into a room, your energy, your energy, they fear it. They like fear it because the lie's been told for so long, yo. The lie's been out here. So that's why they fear you, G. That's why. Because they love. Listen to me. More never show up at debate. I don't debate none of these people. You want to debate me, you're going to have to pit up $5,000. Let me say this one more time. If anybody talking about debating Sabir Bay, don't bring me on the I don't do this. Don't see me on the street and think that I'm going to jump in a conversation with you. If you want to debate with me, my sister Jasmine is on YouTube and Facebook. She will tell you, I ain't even got to say the number. Jasmine will tell you the price because I ain't, I ain't got time. I ain't going back and forth with you, niggas. <laughs> bring me a real person that really know how to debate bring me the scholars put up the 9,000 ooh they said 9,000 bring me your scholars bring me your professors bring me them people don't bring me these cats that's trying to get known I'm not rocking with that yo I'm not rocking with those dudes they looking for attention we call them attention whores do you understand that attention whores Yes, thank you, my brother Dredd. He said time is money. Time is money. 
That's what people understand. So I'm not rocking with it. Okay? The average person makes 5K a month working a regular job. Woo, that's a lot. Really? I can I can make 5K. I'm from the streets of South Philly. I can make 5K to 10K. Oh, I'm a I'm from Philly, baby. Okay, so let's go back. So I showed you that the state deliberately passes unconstitutional laws. Right? And everybody on here talking about the Constitution. They're going to hurt themselves. Yes, they will hurt themselves, no doubt. John said they will hurt themselves. So, let's go. I want to see you and brother. I don't know why you want to see me with that. Why? Why don't you say, I want to see you with a judge? Let me. Somebody said they want to see me with brother polite. Let me share this with y'all. I want to see me with a judge. I want to see me with a sheriff. I want to see me with Michael Cord, the attorney. I want to see me with Malik Zulu Shabazz, the attorney. I want to see me with any attorney. Just close your eyes and pick. Don't tell me you want me to see me in polite. What? No, baby, please. Don't do that. I'm not that dude. I don't do that. I don't do that, baby. So that sound much better than me going against my brother. I'm not that type of dude. I'm not these Negroes that's jumping on like the R. Kelly bandwagon. Stop. So I'm talking about you want me to put. Nah, I don't do that to yourself. Nah. Nah. They love arguing. They don't want solutions. And thank you. They're going to always argue and want no solutions. But always talking about Constitution. Yeah, we should be debating the Europeans. No doubt. Hands down. We got a dream team. I told you. Listen, I've been doing radio for 17 years. Let me make this clear for y'all one more time. 17 years. 17. Get it in your mental Rolodex on radio. Radio. Not this YouTube thing. 17 years I've been saying, bring me your top 10 attorneys. And then when I say that, people get upset. People get upset. Why are you attacking the attorneys? Because they're the ones that y'all look at every day as the scholars, as the people who know. So I say, bring me the top 10 known attorneys or bring me the ones that's in law school. How else could I make this plain for people? Think about how plain can I make this? That's all they got to do is Google me. They know exactly who I am. Stop. They're going to tell y'all they don't know. They're going to tell y'all. They're going to act like they don't know. If I got a European that watch my videos and then email me, you think that none of these black scholars or black attorneys watch my videos? Roland Martin, share this to him too. Maybe Roland Martin get the ball rolling. Stop. Judge Mathis, share it to him too. Share it to all of them. So I'm not going to argue with my brother. If my brother is in error, referring to Brother Polite, that's something that he has to deal with, with his karma. That has nothing to do with Sabir. If you a sucker to fall for anything, that's on y'all. They're not lawyers. We need to stop calling them lawyers. They are attorneys. They're not lawyers. They are attorneys. I'm going to say this one more time. They're not lawyers. They are attorneys. And if it's an attorney that's on here, that want to tell me that they're not, prove it. I'll be in Philadelphia next week. I'll be in Wilmington, Delaware on a Sunday, the 13th. I need y'all to look up Corpus Juris Secondum, C.J.S. number 7. Corpus Juris Secondum 7. They're not lawyers. A lawyer, listen, a lawyer, I can quote it, and I have a law dictionary sitting here even though it's not open. Let me give you the definition of what a lawyer is. And you can research this information yourself. A lawyer, jurist, J-U-R-I-S-T. Do your research. J-U-R-I-S-T. Jurist is one who's versed or skilled in law, right? One who is versed or skilled in law, in nations of law. Attorney practice law. How plain could I make it, y'all? Let me say this one more time. A lawyer practices. When you're playing basketball and football, you practice. When you finish, you perform. It's simple, people. Very simple. It's not complicated. It's not over your heads. And I say this. If I'm in error, if I'm wrong, then tell the attorneys that rip you off every day, that put up money and don't let them say, oh, well, he's nobody. What school did he go to? Don't worry about what a school I went to. I can't for my mother's womb. For my mother's womb. 
The first university is the womb of the woman. Let me repeat this one more time for y'all, just in case you don't understand it. The first, first university is the womb of the woman. Okay? The womb of the woman, the university, the first. Doesn't matter. That's the problem. They don't think. That's the problem with people. They don't think. I'm only here to get you to think. I'm not impressed with nobody's degree. I said this before. Just look it up. Degree means to take away from. Please, people, look it up. I need y'all to look it up. Defrost, derail, denounce. D-E is the prefix of agree. Am I right? Where's my attorney people at? Where's my attorney people at? Look it up in the Webster's Dictionary. Do it. D-E, defrost, derail, denounce, dismiss, D-I-S, dislike. So let me show you something else. Oh, y'all not ready for this? If you really want to study the language also. Study language. Really. Do you really want to take it there? I can pull their coats. They know what the hell I'm talking about. These people that y'all watch every day, they know what I'm talking about. They know. So I'm not in, I'm not upset or give a darn about Trump or any of these people. I know the president's job. Do y'all know the president's job? Do y'all know the president's job? Yes, she's the first teacher. Woman is the first teacher. So if go back to somebody said earlier. It's the parents. If the parents are effed up, then damn it, you're going to be messed up. Ain't that something? Then they say when people get molested, they become molesters. So if you if your parents is messed up, then damn it, you're going to be messed up. If your parent was a punk, then you're going to be a punk. My father, my father was a man's man. My father was a man's man man and married for to my mother for 53 54 years are y'all following me with nine children with nine children and he didn't work for nobody my father worked for himself did y'all get that did y'all catch that did y'all get that my mother didn't work for nobody she worked for herself oh did that work did that make sense y'all so if you was a punk in your mother's womb or if you a punk in your dna then you a punk Right now, that's reality. What about degree? I said the word degree means to take away a prefix and a suffix. Pick up a regular Webster's dictionary. This is how you research things defrost, derail, denounce, degree, dismiss, dislike. You follow me? Yes, my father was a hell of a carpenter, baby. Laddie was a beast. I love my father. Rest in peace and my mother. They were a beast. Beast at what they did. And they raised nine of us. Nine. My father was drinking, though. Do it look like I'm an alcoholic? Ooh, I don't drink. But he was a great man. I drink water. A great man. And take that two by four to your behind if you opened your mouth out of your. Out of <laughs> the two by four was a mother freak and the belt buckle wasn't no joke either. So think about it. Get that in your mental Rolodex. So let's go back. I don't think you know who you're dealing with. So let's go into this real quick. So here you go. Right. Let's look at the con. Let's talk about the president for a minute. So I asked y'all a question on YouTube and Facebook. What is the president's job? So could y'all do me a favor and share this to the educated black folks? Could y'all share this to the educated black folks? I've seen a video on YouTube, someone trying to expose you. That's old news, baby. That was old news. If you want to expose me, tell them to expose me right now. Sabir Bay is live. I'm not worried about nobody trying to expose me. Negroes going to do stuff like that. But I can talk to you, right? I could talk to all these people on YouTube without saying their name, and I get you. I bet you would get back to them. So anything you want to know about Sabir Bay, you can ask me right now. <laughs> I do this all day, babe. You can ask me right now. So whatever you think you saw on YouTube, I know Negroes. I just told y'all before. 
Negroes strive for attention. Make this go viral and share this under the video that you think that you saw about exposing me. Who the cat fits, let it wear. Thank you very much. They always reach the beer. What's that? What they say? They always what? <laughs> let me read. They can reach the beer. They can reach always reach the beer, but they too scared. I know. But people always bring up old stuff about me. I mean, like, oh, you need to find out what date that was. And you need to share this and tell them Sabir Bay is on here right now. You see Three Kings. Yes, I've seen all of that. So let them know Sabir is on here now. I bet you you won't do that. I guarantee you that. See, when you have a mouthpiece, y'all, you have to remember, I've been doing this for a long time. So when you say you saw a video about me being exposed, you can never expose me because Sabir Bay, let me make this clear, will expose himself. Did y'all get that? So somebody said on YouTube, I seen a video of somebody trying to expose you. Let me make this clear on Facebook, and I need y'all to make this go viral, and I need you to make this go viral on YouTube. So, before you think you can expose Sabir Bay, Sabir Bay would expose himself. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't go to strip clubs. I don't beat women. I don't call women bitches. You follow me? So, good luck with that one. Good luck with that one. Did I make it clear? So don't ever think, because I understand these dudes on YouTube and Facebook. I understand these dudes. They love that. Because when you speak truth, yes, gossip. When you speak in truth, they're going to come at you all kinds of ways. I was prepared years ago. Years ago. So whatever you thought you saw about Sabir Bay, you better ask me right now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> okay? Forever hold your peace. Oh, peace is. Salam, salam. So, I don't worry about that. 30 steps ahead. Thank you, brother. Brother, don't get mad. At, I'm never mad. Dogs get mad, G. You ain't never see Sabir Bay mad. Do it look like I'm mad, y'all? I don't get mad. The hell? I smile at everything. <laughs> salam. I smile at everything, G. Because you got to smile when you know it's not the truth, man. It is what it is. So you can chop me up right now. They got time. So let me show y'all the president's job, right? So let's go over here since we love to talk about the Constitution. I'm not worried about Trump. Trump might even be watching this laughing. Trump might be laughing at this, but give me one second. Hold up. Give me one second. Here's the president's job. I might have to pick my, my, my pad up, too. The President of the United States is the official title of the Chief Executive Officer of the Federal Government. I want you to see this. You see that? The Chief Executive Officer of the Federal Government. Federal Government. Do you know the difference between the federal and state government? The federal government. So this law, right? This is law and constitution. This is not complicated, right? Hold up. So let me show. I'm going to have to sit this down for one second, y'all. So bear with me. Bear with you, your brother. Because I need to show people this on YouTube. Let me pick this up. Turn this around. The President of the United States, the official title of the Chief Executive Officer of the federal government. Federal. Okay? Federal government. This is a law dictionary, y'all, just in case you don't know. That's a law dictionary. Does this, does this sound complicated? So, we know the Constitution. We know the Constitution is this. You got all these black educated Negroes that get on Facebook and YouTube and talk about the president. I told you about the Declaration of Independence, right? Can you search Attorney General? Listen. I told you about the Declaration of Independence. All the Negroes are celebrating July the 4th coming up. Right? I told you that the constant, listen, government, government was instituted amongst men, deriving their just power from the consent of the governed. The key thing is consent. But these black leaders are running around here calling themselves minorities. Minorities can't enter a contract. This is basic fundamentals, right? A, a minority can't enter a contract. Let's be real. But it says the government was instituted amongst men, 
deriving their just power from the consent of the governed. That when any form of government become destructive to its ends, it is the right of the people to alter it, abolish it, and institute a new one. So when y'all going to institute a new government? What black educated or in attorney told y'all that? What black educated attorney told y'all what I just said? So let's go to the federal government for a minute. A consent is... Let's, let's go back to the... Let's go to the president's job. Is the chief executive officer of the federal government. So let's see what the federal government is. I'm going to show them on here first, and then I'm going to show. Do you understand why I said cash, cash app and PayPal and then sign up for Patreon? Do you understand? So look. Federal census. Federal government. You see that? The system of government administrated in a state formed by the union of confederations of the several independent or quasi means near. Quasi means near. Quasi means near. It's not necessarily that. So understand that, people. Right? So what you should do is pick up law dictionaries. And then study the law. This is not complicated, people. But see, when you can get distracted very easily, you, very, you can easily get distracted. So let me hurry up before they start freezing up my videos. So the president is the federal government. There you go. And look what it says right there. Sovereign is in there. Did I say sovereign? Did I say sovereign right there, y'all? Sovereign. Oh, it's these people, these, these people calling themselves sovereign citizens. They're sovereign citizens. They're sovereign citizens. They're, they're sovereign citizens. And you even have nigger moors talking about that. Hold on, let me flip this around. You even have these scary nigger moors talking about people calling themselves sovereign. See that? They don't even get it, but you listen. Y'all, listen. <laughs> we are so out to lunch, yo. We are so out to lunch. I can tell you on this constitution... So I want everybody, how many people, let's keep it, let's, by the round of a hand, let's see, how many people have a constitution? And I'm going to give y'all something so you can research on your own. Because I got to eat. I ain't eat all day today. I ain't eat nothing today. God darn, I'm hungry. But yet people eat three times a day and go sit down and go watch a football, a football game. That's why they got diabetes like a mother freaking. They sit down. I ain't eat not once today. Yeah, sovereign citizens don't exist. So, let me quote this for y'all, and I can show it to y'all. Let me quote sovereign people. If you have a law dictionary, look it up. Sovereign people, the political body, listen to my lips, listen to me. I'm going to quote it, right? Sovereign people, the political body, consisting of the entire number of citizens and qualified electors who in their collective capacity possesses the power of sovereignty. And exercise them through their chosen representative. C. Scott versus Sanford. One more time. Right? Sovereign people, not sovereign citizens. Sovereign people. The political body consisting of the entire number of citizens and qualified electors who in their collective capacity possesses the power of sovereignty and exercise them through their chosen representative. That's what sovereign people is. And I don't even have it open. But you have to know this in your head, people. You have to know it like you know the football games. You know the Bible. Know this in your head and stop letting people tell lies to you. Please. I don't want to talk about self-determination. Go to my YouTube channel. I talked about all that. This is self-determination right here, right now, at this moment. As I'm speaking, this is self-determination. I don't have to talk about it. It's there. Think about it. Think about it. Y'all y'all be asking the most, but do the less. But you'll let somebody come on these feeds and feed y'all the BS. I told y'all before, and I'm going to say it again, whether y'all like it or not. If you put up money for the nonsense, then tell all your, your black politicians, your preachers, your attorneys, this is not an attack on anybody. 
to get to the root of the problem, tell them that let's have a panel discussion. Not because you think he went to Harvard. I chopped somebody down in a heartbeat that went to Harvard. I will chop you down if you went to Harvard. Straight up. That's not, I'm being real with you. I don't care about you going to Harvard, a Spelman, or Yale. Bring them all. Bring the one that's already out here. That's uh, them being real with you. The wall for what? Somebody made a comment and said, put the button. I ain't going to get into that. So, I need y'all to do me a favor. Anybody has a constitution before I get off of here? That's this little book right here. Hold up. That's this little book. Or maybe it could be this book. Right? I want you to do me a favor, everybody that's on here, since we want to talk about the Constitution. Look up the 14th, the 14th Amendment and the 5th Amendment. And I want you to look up the definition of the word citizen. 14th Amendment. Just go through your whole Constitution. This is critical thinking, analytical thinking. Right? Look up. Not subject. Listen to what I said. Pay attention. Harvard, 200K of high class indoctrination. It is. Somebody said Harvard is 200K indoctrination. I would imagine pfft, we ain't going to get into that because I know some of these people be in their feelings on these YouTubes and Facebooks. So look up citizen 14th and 5th. Just look up everywhere before the 5th Amendment, before the 14th Amendment. The def look up the word citizen and then tell me what you see there. I'm going to tell y'all off the bat, it's going to be capitalized. That's proper grammar. Did y'all know that? That's proper grammar. Wait a minute. Let's pull this back over here. That's proper grammar. He said, I'm in college and I see the BS. Oh, my people say they in college and they see the BS. You see that? But no, no so-called black college will want me to come there. I had a sister, she's a college professor, and she's, she's Egyptian. Shout out to my sister. She wants me to come into the university. She says she wants me to come into the university, but you see the black people. Let me tell you something. I said this earlier. The educated black folks are the ones that's petrified, and they will tell you that they're not. They are the ones that's scared as hell. Oh, you see it now, right? You see the difference? Stuff is sitting right in plain sight. It's in the Constitution, people. I ain't got to make this up. <laughs> I'm being real with y'all. Hold up. Can I show you something else before I go? Because I have to eat. I need y'all to share this out. I've been on here long enough. No, she's, it's not a white person. She's an Egyptian. That's Africa, just in case y'all don't know. Egypt is Africa, people. Egypt is Africa. Okay? So... Let me show y'all something again in the facts. This is the Constitution. This is the Constitution. Don't add, sign up for my Patreon. Look for Patreon Sabir Bay. Or you can hit the Cash App. Y'all ask me a whole lot of questions on here, huh? Look, the tale of Washington and the cherry tree, right? Historians say almost certainly untrue. I didn't say a belief. That's said facts. I'm going to show y'all in a minute on here. It's untrue. Hmm. Let's show y'all this. See that? Did everybody see that? About the popular tale? It's untrue. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do with it right now. What do you do with anything? You go research. Let me explain something to you. People kills me who get it. This is why, let me tell you something. I don't even know who you are. I don't even know if you're a brother, sister, European. I don't even know what the hell you are. Because people with these symbols on, on here, let me show you all something. The, the ignorance of our people, of people, period. With all this info, what do you do with it? Negroes in the hood don't want this. Some people in the hood don't want this until they go to jail and they don't get that money for the attorney. <laughs> Listen to me, brother. Let me explain something to you. 
I'm from small size, South Philadelphia, born and raised. I'm from the hood. I go to my hood every dime. I'm in Compton. I'm in Detroit. I'm in the high, the wild hunnets in Chicago. Okay? I want to make you sure you get that. I'm all over. I'm from South Philadelphia. Okay? I didn't been shot up many times. Many, some of you cats talk crazy. I got bullets in my head, bullets in my chest. That's just a little bit of me. So I am from the streets. Don't get that, ever get that twisted. So what is going to do to our people? We got to bring it to our people. Bring it to them. There's a dope movie when you get a chance. Yeah, I got battle scars like a mother freaking. And I'm still ticking. So, there's a movie that everybody should look up. It's called Stick Up Kids. Stick Up Kids. We are so deaf, dumb, and blind that you have to trick black people. You literally have to trick black people to get over here. But if it was about gossip, niggas will run to it in a heartbeat. Niggas will run real quick. Let me talk about R. Kelly. Niggas will run. Yo, what's up? Yo, yo. Anything that's negative, niggas will run to it. I just saw something that T.I. did. He has a trap house and niggas all up in it. Why would you glorify trapping? Why would you glorify trapping and show cocaine? Show how you cook coke. That I did all that, but I'm not glorifying none of that. I don't glorify that bull. Nah, I don't do that. If I sat back, if y'all really understood and knew who I was, some people know. They know my history. I don't have to talk about it. There's no need for me to talk about that. There's no need to me talk about the shooting up. That's irrelevant to me. I'm here to elevate your damn mind. You're talking to somebody who's supposed to have been dead quite a few times. Quite a few times. Okay? I'm not living through YouTube and Facebook. You're talking to somebody who family, who was in Black Incorporated. The Black Mafia. You're talking to somebody who was in the era of the Junior Black Mafia while y'all watching State Property, the movie. I lived it. Let me make this clear. I lived that State Property stuff. They never came to South Philly. Make this clear. They never came to South Philly. Ask anybody. I'm from South Philly. A living legend of it. So, you can share this to T.I., whoever you want to. I know that they don't control their money. I know you're getting the info, but listen, listen, listen. The best business people, and I'm going to leave y'all with this. The best business dudes, when I go back home to my hood, is on the streets. We just got to change the energy, people. We got to shift it. In order to be a, a business dude, you got to know how to negotiate. To cook cocaine... You got to be a damn chemist. To cook coke or heroin, you got to be a chemist. This is them. To sit down there and do counting without going to school, we naturally was accountants. To count money, you got to be an accountant. You follow me? Did that make sense, y'all? Instead of talking about having trap houses, let's talk about having educational houses. Let's see if they put money behind education, real education. Think about it. Y'all, th What do y'all think about that? Right, let me repeat this again. To negotiate a deal, you got to be a businessman. Right? To cook cocaine or heroin, you got to be a chemist. To count money, you got to be an accountant. We never went to school for none of that stuff. Think about what I just said. See, y'all still have that colonized mindset. that thinking that you got to go there. When I did radio, I never went to school for radio. I never went to school for radio. Never. And I did five different radio stations in my 17-year career. Five different radio stations in my 17-year career. Never stepped a foot in the college for radio. Never stepped a foot in school for, for law. But if you bring any law, any attorney around me, I would dust their coat in a heartbeat. Think about it. I'm going to say this one more time. See, when I'm speaking like this, you're talking to somebody that didn't graduate from, college, from high school but I will dust any of them and it's not bragging on myself it's just being confident don't under, don't get that twisted y'all it's factual factual so I can sit with an accountant I can sit with a psychologist I can sit with any of these people I can sit with somebody and I never went to film school and I did film go to my IMDB IMDB go check it out 
go check it out. We are exceptional people, like no doubt. This is what they hate about you and I. That's what they hate about you and I. Because I'm not begging for anything. I'm not asking them for nothing. But when we participate in something, people, we dominate. Let me say this one more time. When we participate in anything, we dominate. When you're begging somebody for something, and then you turn around and say something, and then you turn around after that and then apologize for what you have said, you are asking for something. I ain't never in my life, since I've been on radio, said something that I had to pull back from. Think about it again. I've never, and I don't work for free. Let me make this clear with y'all. Don't get upset with me. But I've never, ever said anything that I had to take back because I don't talk premature. Everything that I'm saying can be researched. These videos that these brothers and sisters be doing never show y'all nothing. They just talk it and you feed into the bull. Feed. Feed. And I'm going to say this for anybody. Stop allowing these young cats to diss the elders. Anybody that want to diss Bobby Hemet, I will come for you. And I won't have to say your name. Just don't disrespect any elder. Because your days will be short. Honor thy mother and thy fathers. That your days will be short on this earth. Just like your career. Whatever you think you coming at or you got, that can get cut real quick. Real quick. <laughs> Real quick, trust me, longevity is the key to everything. Long jeopardy, jeopardy, that right there, keep going. That's how it is. Brother, love the raw info. You, you cut, man, listen, I only speak from the heart. I speak from the heart, and y'all have not yet heard me say anything about profanity. You didn't hear me curse nobody out, did I? Did you hear me curse anybody out? Did you hear me disrespect anybody? Did you hear me say anybody's name? No. There's no need to do that. Because the truth is going to hit who it needs to hit. The truth is going to hit who it needs to hit. I hate nobody. I don't hate nobody. The same niggas that's talking about hating and the crack of this and the crack of that, they the same one that's begging when he cut his phone off or his internet off or his Facebook off or his YouTube off. I don't hate nobody, G. Just speak the truth. Never bite the hand that feeds you. Ooh, never. No doubt. Don't do that. Never do that. So listen. I got to go, y'all, because I didn't eat. I'm going to say this one more time. I put it in the footnotes. Any kind of booking, hit me up at requestinfo at thesabirabayshow.com. Requestinfo at thesabirabayshow.com. Um... Wilmington, Delaware is on January the 13th, 2019, 3 p.m. There will be no live filming, no Facebook, no YouTubes. You have to come. The House of Reawakening Minds. The House of Reawakening Minds. The doubt says, the naysayers, they can all come out, but you got to pay to come in there. So support the people. Support my sister's place also. The House of Reawakening Minds, Wilmington, Delaware, January the 13th. Support the teacher, $20 challenge. Thank you, my sister, but that's all love. She said $20 challenge. <laughs> I like that. So somebody just said that on here, so I'm going to turn this around. They were talking about a $20 challenge. So I got to go, y'all. I got to eat. Your brother didn't eat all day today, but pick up your calendar. I'm going to bring some of these. There's the Patreon. Cash app, the whole nine yards. This is the calendar that's out. I'll turn it around. I'm tired and hungry. You're one of the realest brothers out here. Give thanks, family, but I'm just me. My family said one of the realest brothers out here. I'm just me. I'm just keeping real with you. I am just me. I was, listen, I'm from Philadelphia. I'm, 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 a, I'm a Philly dude, in and out. <laughs> I'm a straight Philly 22nd small side dude, man. That's it, man. But give thanks for that. So get the calendar. The calendar is available. Hit me up at requestinfo 
at the Sabir Bay Show .com for any kind of booking. Don't ask me to book. Don't ask me about debating anybody. My sister Jasmine will tell you in a heartbeat. Somebody said nine thousand, but Jasmine said five thousand. So don't don't try to catch me on the street and think that you're gonna get me into a silly argument. Don't wait. Let me say this with y'all. Don't waste your time on silliness, people. Challenge the ones that y'all really need to challenge. And I've been calling them out for a long time, baby. A long time. Laugh at everything. Enjoy your life, man. Add value to yourself. I was watching Batman last night. And in the scene in Batman, he said, if you're good at something, you don't do it for free. Let me say this one more time. Listen. He said in Batman, the Joker said, if you're good at something, you don't do it for free. Lessons, people. Lessons. Yes, that's a classic by the Joker. You don't do it for free. So don't try to play me. It ain't going to work. Hard to enjoy too much in these conditions. Listen, you better laugh at everything, G. You better laugh. Here you go. Y'all got to be kidding. Laugh a lot. That's what they said, 5000 You can't put, nobody can put a price on me. Nobody. All right? No one. Peace and love. If you love it, support it. I got to go. But January 13th, 2019, House of Reawakening Minds, 3 p.m.